Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to stick my balls in a vice and scream slurs at the top of my lungs. Nice. All right. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, typically, they're a little straightforward in terms of, you know, somebody plays against uh, a streamer and that streamer is very toxic or rude. And then we sort of go over that. And this situation has a bit more layers to it. I'm going to go ahead and summarize the whole situation here just to give you sort of an overview of what happened before we jump into reacting to any clips. Essentially, there was two streamers that were swiffing together as Survivor and they went against a killer who was also a streamer but they weren't live. Now in the first match they end up winning against this killer but still talking a whole lot of smack and at the end of the match they pull up their Twitch profile and you know talk a bit of shit about their stream and whatnot. Once the Survivor streamers queued up and got into another match they ended up going against the same killer again uh, twice in a row and the killer streamer had looked at their reaction after the match was over and saw all the insulting and shit that they were saying so they decided to play a bit harder and do a little bit of trolling and also make sure that they died. Now as you can imagine since they were talking shit during the match they were winning of course they were going to talk shit during the match where they're getting destroyed. There is more to the story that happens after these two matches occur and we're going to get to that but first I thought we would go over the two matches and look at some clips from them. All right, here's the oh, first I'm match. Take my chances and die on hook. Bro, okay. I've already lost them. They're bad. She Bro, I'm literally running in a straight line, and she could not hit me. Nice. Mm. Oh, she's got Franklin's. You fucking cringe. Who the fuck runs Franklin's? Who would dare? Virgins. She understands them. Joel, vomit. Okay. Starstruck. Starstruck. Vomit. Okay, so so far we've complained about Franklin's, Jolt, and Starstruck. So we're just we're starting off the match strong. Uh, just immediately five gens saying, I want to die on hook. This killer's bad. And then complaining about every single perk that you see that they're using. So imagine being this bad at the game. Right. Y you're going to notice that they use the word imagine a lot. Nice blink, fuckhead. Mm -hmm. She's literally bad. Okay. Sure. I guess so. Camping a pallet against a nurse. I have, I don't, you don't see that too often unless, you know, they're very new to the game. Usually people who have played the game for uh, a bit of time know that you don't just sit at a pallet against a nurse because, well, that's going to happen. They're very good at the game. They're uh -huh. also seemingly terrified of pallets. As a nurse? Yeah. No, no, no. Not terrified of pallets, it just doesn't make sense for a nurse to walk through a pallet and get stunned when they can just blink to the other side and hit you, which is exactly what happened, which is why you don't camp pallets against a nurse, just so you know for future reference. She's also camping, she's at the top of the stairs. Dyke, screw up. Don't be a fucking wanker. Okay, so from what I see here, you can't see this. Let me move my um, camera here. I move my camera. You can actually see there's two people at the top of the stairs trying to go for the save. So they're saying that the nurse is camping at the top of the stairs. Um, she also only has one hook and there's two gens left and two survivors are right there trying to go for the save. So I just don't know why it would be smart for the nurse to leave in this scenario. I got that shit on me. <laughs> Oh yeah, tell me harder. Uh-huh. You're very good at the game. Imagine having to play nurse to feel loved and appreciated. Here we go. Imagine thinking you'll feel loved or appreciated playing nurse. Yeah. Imagine playing nurse. It's just imagine. Imagine this. It's just, God, it's just when people use that as their main edgy insult where they just imagine this, imagine that. It's just, I don't know. I it's It seems outdated at this point, but there are people who just constantly just say that shit over and over like it's some sort of witty amazing insult but yeah the nurse is tunneling and i don't blame the nurse for tunneling again because she has one hook and there's now one gen left and i know it's nurse who's the strongest killer in the game and you know there's survivor players out there who are like you should never tunnel especially if you're playing nurse who's the strongest killer well not everybody's great with nurse especially on indoor maps like larry's and you know, if, if the killer's behind, they should be able to play certain ways to catch up. It's not that big of a deal, I don't think. But you guys know that, and you know that uh, there are a lot of people who do think that it is a big deal, so. Now, they do get a nice flashlight save here. <laughs> Some shit, dickhead. Yep. Uh, in the endgame chat, I'm just going to spam mad because bad. 
Yeah. That's a great insult, too. Uh, mad because bad. That is incredibly not only good, but original and and just fantastic. Very good insult. Suck shit, loser. There we Lol, go. They reckon they're a TTV and they play like that. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you know I'm checking this shit. Yep, pulls up, their, that? pulls up their profile on the stream while laughing and saying, oh, fucking dickhead. They're not laughing. They have 4,000 followers, apparently. Uh-huh. <laughs> Type in the endgame chat. Imagine you know, making yeah, tunneling no. your brand, honestly. That was just a bit of a tool. Imagine making tunneling your brand. I, I, could, I could never imagine that. It's also interesting going against a streamer who tunnels at the end of a match because they're way behind in losing and then you talk shit and say oh tunneling is their brand that's so cringe well, you don't you don't know that you've gone against them one time you don't even know who this person was before i mean it's kind of silly to assume that that's your brand if people were to watch this match or any match that at least that i've watched of you i would assume that your brand is being incredibly cringy whiny and entitled and bitching and moaning while also insulting the other player just because you feel like it. I feel like that's a way cringier brand to have than just adjusting a play style throughout the match to try to win. That was just a bit of a tool. But okay. they lose. Oops. Let's go. No, no, tools are useful. Valid. Uh, Mate, how it's is it, how it's is time it? to go outside. It says, fella's just a bit of a tool, and he's like, nah, tools are useful. And then you say this person needs to go outside just because they adjusted their playstyle in a game, when you're the one who is entirely absorbed by the game, and taking it to real life, and shit-talking, and all this stuff, and still, even after the match is over, just fucking ranting and ranting. Even though you escaped, like, you got out, you're still just going on and on. If anybody needs to go outside and like disconnect themselves from Dead by Daylight, it seems like it would be you. So now, like I said, they load up for another match and immediately get the same exact killer who this time is playing doctor rather than nurse and they get RPD. So we'll see what happens here. Good stun, fuckhead. Okay, nice. Three stuns. How many more to this guy DCs? Probably none. Oh, fuck fucking him? Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. I nice. don't know why. He's got merciless. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. They snort my coat. He's bitching about perks again. He's got merciless. Yeah, of course he does. We don't like merciless. We don't like Jolt or Starstruck or Franklin's. Any fucking perk. It's just imagine. Imagine that. This random's an idiot. He's an actual dense cunt. Mm -hmm. um, he's slugging. Come to Oh yeah, you're also going to notice that throughout this match that they they end up shifting a lot of their insults and, and rage towards this random Michaela in the match, but yeah, we'll, you'll see that. Mid. Slug and camp, baby! Like, where did the other one go? Oh, they're just crawling away because this dude idiot, idiot's fucking leaving them on the ground. This dude's bad. So bad. Nice. Fucking inbred. <laughs> Calls him a fucking inbred. Man, it's just really fucking salty that I fucking fuck him up. Man, so salty because I fucking fucked him up. He's talking about the pallet stuns, by the way. Yeah, I, I fucking fucked him up. He's so mad that I fucked him up because I, I threw a pallet on him. I, I sure fucked him up. Yeah, hit me harder. You're so cool. You stunned him too many times. It gave him brain damage, which is why he's camping you. Oh, Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Like you, you Pretty sense he took it personally. Man's is him big like mad. See, it's funny how like they BM in their match where they're teabagging and stuff, which is just, you know... I guess it's taunting, whatever. And then you have the, the next match where they're getting hit on hook and they're like, oh, this guy's so bad, fucking cringe, inbred, so mad, I fucked him up. Uh, it's like, what? So you BM and taunt, but it's fine. But if killers hit you on hook, it's it's all of this and it's they're mad and salty and inbreds and, and brain damaged and, and all that. That doesn't doesn't line up. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same loser. Let's yep. go. So that was him. Uh, it's the it's the nurse. Man's just like, oh, it's these guys again. Time to pull out my small dick build. Uh I mean, you can't change the killer after you see the survivors you're going against. So odds are they already had this build out, or at least the doctor out before they saw it was you. Uh, remember his name? Checky Chat. Mm. He's not coming He's up. He's not there. So he's just really bad at playing the game. And you Dude died though. Furious that he fucking lost as nurse. Yeah, he's not in your chat either. Oh, nope. is he letting them go? Yeah, he's checking his chat and the other streamer's chat that he's friends with to see if his name's popping up, because that's a way you can tell if someone's stream sniping, is if their username comes up in the chat, 
and he confirmed that this person is not in either of their chats watching their stream, so. Yeah, he's letting the random live. Oh, this poor kid. How'd you mean this awful at the game? Man's, or, got, man's got so butthurt, he had to pull out, like, the, the small dick virgin build just to try and feel some love and respect. So, <laughs> so, what I, so he goes from playing the most overpowered killer in the game, Nurse, with Starstruck, that's like an insanely strong build, but just struggles on Larry's, and then ends up playing Doctor with Merciless Storm, which is like not meta. Like obviously Merciless with Doctor can be a pain and, and whatnot, like impossible skill check Doctor, but I don't know how it's like a stronger, more oppressive build than fucking Nurse with Starstruck. And again, he can't change his killer after he sees it's used. So he was already Doctor. <laughs> Dude is fucking dog shit. Yeah, by the way, this is the same guy who camps pallets against Nurse. Is blatant strain type one of you? Because he, yeah, <laughs> just blatantly. Okay, so now somebody in his chat said that the this killer was blatantly stream sniping them, and then this guy says, "Yeah, just blatantly." Even though he literally just confirmed that he wasn't in either of their streams, but now is just rolling with, "Yeah, he's just blatantly stream sniping." Yeah. Imagine having a 4,000 4, following on Twitch by acting like the biggest dumb cunt to ever exist. <sighs> Imagine playing Dead by Daylight and streaming it and then fucking crying when you win and then crying when you lose and talking shit about another streamer when you're streaming yourself over a fucking video game. Imagine, 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 just stop saying the word! Anybody watching, please feel free to uh, comment down below how many times uh, combined these two say the word imagine. Uh, this sure is a match of Dead by Daylight. I'd like this match to be over. This is a waste of everybody's time. You the Michaela leave. is literally blessing a fucking totem. This like, why are they mad at the Michaela for blessing a totem? What? This doctor has the IQ of a single cell fucking amoeba. Wow. Like, I'm not even annoyed, I'm not even <sighs> mad, I'm just disappointed and embarrassed to have this shit on my screen. Oh my god. Kill. You should be embarrassed to be streaming at all, talking like that, or acting like that. It's very, it's very embarrassing. Oh, fucking, fucking Michaela. Wow. Uh, Michaela is a specimen. <laughs> oh my god, this fucking Michaela, I swear to god, I'm gonna find you, I'm gonna split your spine. I'm more annoyed at the Shh. fucking Michaela than I am the Doctor. Like, I've got zero fucks about the Doctor, but this Michaela is giving me an aneurysm. My god, just because- Just because the random Michaela's, like, being friendly with the Doctor and farming with them, he says, I'm gonna split your spine! My god! I might want to talk to somebody about that. It's, it's not really healthy to, um, want to do something like that to somebody. I feel that. Michaela's a fucking idiot. Wow. Oh, you, you've left. We can just go next. Yep. Nah. Nah. <laughs> so, they're all out of the match at this point and complaining about how this match is such a waste of time and, and whatnot. And they can leave. And this guy even says, all right, we can leave now. And the other guy's like, nah, nah, I'm not leaving. Because he so badly wants to go in the end game chat and, and talk shit. But by the way, the doctor slash nurse, they're the salty one, by the way. Not the one who's sitting here waiting for like 30 to 40 minutes just to talk shit to somebody over a game. They're not the salty ones. Wait, is this an actual TTV? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. With 4,000 followers, roughly. I've decided to do that. Hey, Michaela, really, if you really? can hear me, fucking leave. How fucking embarrassing. Scoliosis having parasite of a human being. He wants to talk shit to this doctor so bad that just in case the Michaela is listening, he says, Michaela, just leave, you inbred scoliosis having parasite of a human being. All of that because the Michaela noticed that the doctor was being friendly, so she just farmed some points and was being friendly back to the killer. Yeah, these two are quite the duo. So after this whole situation happened, Eagle Eye, who was the nurse and the doctor, they did a stream where they watched this uh, VOD and sort of reacted to it and talked about it and gave their thoughts and just sort of went over all the insults and the berating and all that shit. After Eagle Eye did this stream reacting to the VOD, the Salty Survivor TTV DMCA'd the VOD and also reported them for harassment and got their Twitch account banned for a week. It's just so ironic because the whole reason Eagle Eye did this stream uh, reacting to their VOD was because he already had seen 
how they were insulting and berating him and he had people from their chats coming into his stream to talk shit over the whole situation. The only thing that actually caused any harassment to begin with were these two overly salty Survivor TTVs that decided to just talk a whole bunch of shit for no reason, throw big hissy fits, they were sore winners, they were sore losers, they were mad at random teammates for no reason. The whole thing is just kind of like a big roller coaster because you have the, you know, the survivors escaped and they were like, ha ha, but then, you know, the killer had them again and, you know, stomped their asses and smacked them on hook. So the killer's like, ha ha, now you toxic shit's got shit on. But then now, you know, the toxic TTV sort of had the last laugh because they ended up getting the killer's Twitch account banned. Luckily, it was only a week and Eagle Eye is back now. And it would mean a lot if you go show them some love because that's just a shitty situation and should never have happened. So if you want to go say some kind words and go show some support to Eagle Eye, that would be awesome. As for the actual salty and toxic individuals in this scenario, I blocked out their names as I usually do because I don't want anybody seeking them out or finding them. There's nothing wrong with a little in-game shit talk or complaining about perks or whatever, but when it escalates to the point of pulling up people's Steam profiles, pulling up their streams, talking shit about them in real life, all over a game, I mean, for God's sake, how many times do we have to talk about this? Just It's just so sad that it keeps occurring in different areas and it's just something that is just constant in this game's community but you know what as long as it continues to be an issue we're going to continue to talk about it here and shed light on it and continue to try and show support to those who were shit on or harassed in any way just remember if you are a streamer and you have ttv in your name the odds are that people will go back and watch the pov and stuff like that and they will hear what you say about them so just you know don't completely shit on them because there is another human being on the other side of the screen. It really shouldn't be that difficult, but for so many people, it seems to be impossible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you've had any situations similar to this one, and if you have any situations you want me to take a look at or you wanna submit anything for a potential video, the email for that is in the description. Thank you all for watching, be kind to your fellow gamers, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.